Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Autumn by Ali Smith. This is the first book that I have read in the Man Booker shortlist for 2017 and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I said in my um, longlist video that I didn't think that I was going to enjoy Ali Smith's writing. There was just something about her writing, um, not her writing, there was something about her books that just didn't appeal to me but that was a classic example of never judge a book by its cover so I think some of her other covers they just don't appeal to me I mean this one is a stunning cover absolutely stunning um, but yeah I just didn't really think I was going to get on with her as a writer I couldn't have been more wrong I love her as a writer I think she has got a really just lovely way with words she describes things in this way where she just manages to capture whatever it is that she's trying to describe so i'll try and find you an example of that the book's first sentence is it was the worst of times it was the worst of times immediately when i read that of course i'm thinking about Charles Dickens and his great expectations and I'm thinking wow so that's got my attention straight away um, and then there was this description so I'll give you an example of that she says all across, across the country there was misery and rejoicing all across the country what had happened whipped about by itself as if a live electric wire had snapped off a pylon in a storm and was whipping about in the air above the trees the roofs the traffic all across the country, people felt it was the wrong thing. All across the country, people thought it was the right thing. All across the country, people felt they'd really lost. All across the country, people felt they'd really won. All across the country, people felt they'd done the right thing and other people had done the wrong thing. All across the country, people looked up Google, what is EU? All across the country, people looked up Google, move to Scotland. All across the country, people looked up Google Irish passport applications. All across the country, people... I can't read that word out, but you get the idea. She's talking about Brexit at that particular point and the day of the um, the announcement of the, the vote in the UK. And, yeah, like I said, she's just got this way with words that I just really, really appreciated. And the style of her writing as well, she isn't afraid to do something different with punctuation and with paragraphing and with sentence structure. She's really, really experimental. This, yeah, is basically a modern snapshot of Britain, you know, sort of post-Brexit, but also it talks about Britain in other sort of periods of history that sort of like post second world war and i think she really does a good job of capturing the spirit of those particular moments in history um yeah and and in and but it's also about about domestic life in some sort of sense and and very sort of mundane things that we do that and she's sort of poking fun at certain things that happen and, and certain processes that happen in the UK for example there's this really funny scene in the post office when one of the characters is trying to get her passport renewed and the scene you just kind of read it and think yeah I can just really imagine that happening to me and it was just so funny and so thought-provoking and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I gave this a four stars in the end. I, I put in my review on Goodreads, if you've read that, um, you'll recognise what I'm about to say. I didn't give it five because I didn't think it was the type of book that is going to, or no, the type of book that blew me away, you know, that I will be thinking about forever because it had such a, a deep and moving message to it but I didn't but then again I don't think that's the particular point of this book but I really enjoyed it I will be picking up more of Ali Smith's writing and I would really urge you to read this um, especially if you live in the UK but even if you don't live in the UK it's just a great snapshot of, of life in the UK and 
she, yeah, she just really manages to capture that so well. There you go guys, that was my review of Autumn by Ali Smith. I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below. Have you read this? What did you think of it? Are you intrigued to pick it up now? Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.